Okay, you guys. So clear, you can see it's the next day. Um, hold on. Okay, so it's the next day, and <laughs> I only got through um, my bathroom, my room, the and the boys' bathroom, the boys' bathroom. Um, yeah, that's as far as I got, <laughs> as far as cleaning. Um. I didn't realize it takes a long time to clean this place. <laughs> Whoo! But I'm still thankful for it. Still thankful. Uh, so right now I need to uh, get dinner cooked. We're gonna have um fried chicken and cabbage so um that's what I'm getting ready to do right now I'm thinking y'all I'm thinking um it feels so good in here right now like I feel my my calmest during my day in here at home. I just can't believe it sometimes, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy. I thank God so much. He is so good. And you know, I know you know 2020 people see it as oh i can't wait until this year is over but you guys heard me say this before you gotta this is one of those prime examples of seeing the glass half full instead of half empty this is one of those really serious deep down for real, for real, living life moments of not looking at the negative, but looking at the positive. And that's what I've been doing during this whole time. You know, I, of course, I still have my anxiety moments here and there, but for the most part, this is my, this is my zen. This is my wusa. This is where I feel God hugging me the most is right in here. Because I couldn't have done it without him. There's no way. There's no way. And that's why I took every moment of what we have been through, what we've conquered, what we've overcome together as a human race, not just this race or that race like you have to look at that moment that when we lost and brother George Floyd was murdered um, before our very eyes that situation he didn't he didn't God didn't let him go away from here without him doing the purpose that God had already made for him and had made for us as a whole nation. God already knew these things was going to go on. That's why the saying is, God ain't through with me yet. God wasn't done using George Floyd until that very moment. George Floyd was born for that very 
moment to bring as many of us together as possible. And he did that. George Floyd, he did that. So you have to just look at things like that in this 2020 year. Was it the most horrible thing, horrible event in, in history in a uh, hundred years? Absolutely. Absolutely. But even those people that went through those times and the people that went through things, you know, historical things, Spanish flu, all of those things, they went this is what they felt. What we feeling, this is what they felt. It was all new to them, just, just like it's all new to us. Who knew that God's plan would be to shut the world down? Just so he could get your attention and say, Hey, I'm still the one that's in control. Not man. Did you hear God when he said that? Did you hear him? Or did you just was so into yourself and so selfish within yourself? And it is. That's what, that's what that is. Because this time was for togetherness. This time was for unconditional love. Justice. Histori historical history being made. People coming together for a cause to, to represent what God wanted when he made different races. I said this before in my videos and y'all was just like mm -hmm, yeah yeah and I was crying and and all of that, unbeknownst to me, I guess he was getting me prepared for that for that way of thinking that you have to have. And I wasn't the only one that had this type of feeling that this is a time for us to come back together as family. Put your morals and your values first before money before clubbing, before spending money, before Gucci, before whatever, furniture, their home decor, hell. <sighs> yeah, I caught it. <laughs> but we had to look at this for what it was for. And that's what it was for. And that's what it is still for. Who knows? Maybe he'll shut it down again and give us another chance to get our act together. Or whatever his plan is will play out. Just be ready. I don't know how we came on that from me cleaning the house. I don't know. I don't know how we got there. But we here. So, you know, I guess that's the way he wanted me to be used at this particular moment. Hey, when God want to use me, I don't care where it's at, I'm going to let him use me. And let him use you too. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and prepare this um, chicken. This chicken I'm going to prepare. So, I'm going to clean it plus, don't you know. I'm going to clean it first. We 
No, I'm not going to keep this bag. <laughs> so, before you even think that, no, I'm not about to keep this bag. I just like to rinse the blood out of it. So, yeah, so I got to finish um, cleaning. <laughs> you know what, y'all? I said, since it takes me this long to clean the house, right? This, this, this apartment, it's what? Um, almost 16 square feet in here. Man, sometimes I do, I feel like I'm going through a marathon to get from one side, like from my room to <laughs> front door, it seems like it takes forever, you know what I'm saying? So, God knew exactly what to give to me, not no house, you yeah. like, look here, no. Nope. You gonna take this apartment, and be happy. And I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm truly happy. Truly, truly happy. I can say that. I know my glasses falling off my face, y'all. And that was another thing. I finally went and got me some glasses, some real glasses. <laughs> uh my kids call me uh, Fred Sanford because I had so many pairs of reading glasses just laying around the house. So I came out of the now and went on ahead to get me some glasses. And I like them. I want to get some other kind of like a more subtle frame. But yeah. <sighs> the kids out with the um sitter. So they'll be here in a few. Christmas tonight. They say we're supposed to get a blizzard down here. Um, well, well, you know where well, I got to go to work. They say it's supposed to be a blizzard. So. I'm still trying to get out there. If it ain't bad up here, I don't have too many curves. I got some curves out there, but it's not. It's not nearly as bad as if I was still living out there in, in the mountains. A lot of people, um, you know, still coming out to see us uh, and playing or whatever. I hope the boys are happy with their Christmas. Um, I didn't want to do too much because I had to um, scale back because AJ was doing some things that he shouldn't have been doing. So I had to scale back on that. So my son to tell you, if you cut up, I will take some Christmas. Cause I'm not gonna uh, back Chris. I'm not gonna re reward you for bad behavior. That's what. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. So I had to scale back, girl, to teach him. Right from wrong. You know? Can't be out here acting crazy. That's 
not good. That's not a good look. So we did that. Um, so I got them a little something. I, I believe that, that he'll still be happy with his gift. You know. I was going to get him uh, a game system. But I just get him a mini first. Because he been improving. He been improving lately. So I can't even... I can't even be mad at him. He turned into a, a really good, nice young man. You know? I just wish he had a male role model. Not really a role model, but a man. To show him how to be a man. Because, you know, I've said time and time again. Okay? That a woman cannot teach a boy how to be a man. We can we can tell them what we feel like it is, but you know how that's gonna go. So that's that's a man's role. That's what the man should do. Not us. Just my opinion. But that's what I feel. Okay. So, y'all, I'm just putting a little something, something in here. Not really doing too much. Just what feel good to me to do. So, that's all. That's all we doing. Okay. So, now I know I got to get some more um, steak and shake. Seasoning. I like that seasoning. If y'all haven't tried that before, it's pretty good. And this is what it looks like. So yeah. Something like that. Um, I know the grease is ready. I'm gonna do some um cabbage, like I said. Yes, I still use my flower bag. This is a mama thing. <laughs>
See, I like to clean as I go. So by the time I'm, my food get done and I have to do dishes, I don't have to wipe down too much. I could just go through and be like, whoops, whoops. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to get this um, cabbage. It's so pretty. Look at her.
my gosh, look you guys, it's snowing for Christmas. It's snowing for Christmas. Y'all see my Christmas decor? There goes Santa Claus. The Christmas tree. I put the reindeers up here so Santa can find us. There's another reindeer, another Santa. Oh, this Santa fell down on the job, child. Put him back up, and then... Yeah, I get it. Then I just got some little fake presents up here. And then some snow, snowman, um, and some little ornaments. I made that for Nana. Yes, he did. And, and then just the too. lights around here. And the lights up there. Yay. Come here, Snap. So pretty, you guys. Okay, look. I feel it. It's wet. Oh my gosh. Have a Merry Christmas. The boy's still out there. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.